ontologically oriented design. All design, indeed all activity, is shaped by our worldviews. Often this is not acknowledged. Like water for a fish, ontological perspectives for humans are so ubiquitous we don't notice them or their influence. In an important sense, all art and design is ontological. That is, it fits in with a particular understanding of the world. Ontologically oriented art or design is deliberate about acknowledging the perspectives and biases of creators and or audiences as part of the creative process. It can also be about creating work that goes beyond accommodating views and opinions and seeks to deliberately challenge the world view of those who interact with it. Winograd and Flores, in their book Understanding Computers and Cognition, state that the most important designing is ontological. It constitutes an intervention in the background of our heritage, growing out of already existent ways of being in the world and deeply affecting the kinds of beings that we are. Ontologically oriented art or design approaches projects with an understanding that how they are constructed needs to be taken into account the understandings of the users and the audiences and the context or environment in which they operate. If this is done thoughtfully, our creative projects might reveal new perspectives to users that influence their attitudes and outlooks. According to Winograd and Flores, this can occur because in the act of design, we bring forth the objects and regularities in the world of concern. We are engaged in an activity of interpretation, one that creates both possibilities and blindness. The process repeats in an endless cycle. The consequences of our creations can be both positive and negative. Often, the influence of our work the influence our work has is unpredictable, but more often than not, we fail to consider the unintended consequences. With more care and attention, we can attempt to look past our inherited blindness to the consequences of our work. One method of looking for the impacts of our creative projects is to look at the networks of relationships they involve. Mapping such networks of influence was advocated by Bruno Latour in the Actor Network Theory. These networks can influence the materials used in making projects, the supply chain for goods and services employed, the context of potential application and the impact of the work on them, and the life cycle of the things you make and how they will be discarded in the future. With this information to hand, Creators can see the possibilities of restructuring the network by introducing new possibilities or better avoiding breakdowns. When you introduce a new creative project, the most significant innovation is the modification of the structure of the interactions that it causes, not the mechanical means by which the interactions are carried out. Different designs will lead to different interactions and in the end, to new ways of working, living and understanding. Computer-based interactive media are powerful tools for influencing the network of interactions. Their power lies in the computer's programmability, its connection to networks of communication, and how the actions of users are influenced by the interaction design. In her article about ontological designing, Anne-Marie Willis points out that there are a few aspects about designing, or creativity more generally, that give it ontological significance. First, creativity is something far more pervasive and profound than is generally recognised by creators. Second, creating and making are fundamental to being human more than simply practical abilities. And three, we are coupled to the world that is, while we make our world, our world acts back on us and makes us. Willis reminds us that art and design practices 
are not simply the making of functional or beautiful things, but that our creations reflect our worldviews, understandings and values. In turn, they influence those who interact with them and impact the associated network of people, systems and environment. Being aware of these implications and mitigating against negative effects is at the heart of ontological design.